Well, welcome back. Uh, I don't know what day it is, but we're back on the motor. I've got everything pretty much transferred over. I took a, took a little break from working on it. So technically it's like day three, three or four, I don't know. But um, yeah, not too much more. I just had to take a, I had to get a puller, which I thought I had here. I didn't, it was in my other toolbox. So I had to get that and pull the flywheel off, stator, all that stuff. And then something I didn't know about these Yamaha engines is that they have a balancer underneath, you know, to keep the vibrations down and all that stuff. So I got to pull that off, which was I could probably just use that balancer for that. But uh, yeah, after I get that off, just take off these, blow them out, clean them out. I don't think I need anything else off of here except for some random bolts I put back. Take that hose off, take these caps. That's it for that, you know. Uh, just gonna knock that out real quick. And take off the throttle bracket here. Yeah, we'll just take this stuff off and get the other one ready to slap back on. All right, I'm back. And uh, kind of seems like I've been talking to y'all in the garage, but I got the motor. This is the good new one. It's ready to go fuel pump, flywheel, everything's ready back on, all that stuff, uh, everything's good. Always gotta keep your, your loney on deck. But anyway, power head gasket. I don't like these paper gaskets, man. It's one thing I've learned about paper gaskets is they suck. I think this one has some aluminum in it, I don't know. But if you've never seen what a outboard looks like without having the power head on it. I'm going to walk you down here and show you. Well, this is it. This is the base, the exhaust plate, I guess you call it. See, and it came with this metal gasket, which I like a whole lot better. It looks to be in good shape. It's not bent. I'm going to clean some of this calcium buildup on it. These two are your motor mounts. This is your drive shaft that runs down to your lower unit. This is your gear selector. So if you've never seen it, that's what it looks like. If you get a lot of engine vibration, stuff moving around, usually these, these motor mounts here and you gotta pull the power head to change them out. But luckily those are still in good shape, so I'm not gonna touch those. But uh, yeah, I think we're ready to put it back. Uh, I'm not gonna put that paper gasket on there. I'm gonna leave this, this metal one. I feel a little more confident with those, even though it's old and used, I still like a uh, metal gasket versus the paper one, so. Um, yeah, let's let's get it ready. I don't have a lot of battery in the camera. So we're going to work quickly, I guess. We'll just do it tomorrow. One or two. Anyways, we're gonna start getting it back in there now. And go from there. Alright, so I forgot to pick up the camera. Right now I'm just stabbing it on the I get it to focus. It doesn't want to focus down there. Where are we at? There we go. I'm trying to get it to on that. So, I'm gonna set you up somewhere you can kind of watch as I do this. Hopefully the battery doesn't die. Hopefully the camera will focus. It's nice and flush down there. It's my flashlight down there, just in case you're wondering. Why well, my lens won't focus so bad? But anyways, nice and flush. The only thing that was spiking me was the uh, shift selector there. Hopefully you can see it. But, new motor's on. Good to go. Just tighten the bolts on here. And put it back together. Well, it is on and it's dark outside. Hopefully you can see me, but uh, yeah, it's dark. I'm gonna call it quits for tonight and we'll be back out here in the morning to wrap everything up. Like I said, I can't get the injectors because they're at the injector shop. And it's, I don't know if I should have sent them to this shop. But anyways, won't be able to get those to Monday. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, check in with y'all tomorrow. We'll do round two. Finish this bad boy up.
Just doing some chicken, a couple hamburger patties, thing of baby back ribs. No crazy, all I did was uh, black pepper, some garlic, and a little bit of steak seasoning. I know it sounds crazy, but steak seasoning. I put that on everything. Same thing with this. Same thing, just steak seasoning only on the chicken. And we're running it on 300. We're gonna let it ride on that. Figured I'd give you guys a little update. Got the motor, everything. Uh, Got the power head bolts. Uh, let's finish up some of the electrical. What else? Uh, fuel stuff. Got the fuel pumps on. Uh, Got to get the injectors back, which is tomorrow, and I'll go pick those up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. I want to change out the. Well, not change out. I want to take all the old gas out the boat. Old gas and oil. Take all that out. Put fresh in there. I gotta order some, uh, I think it's a fuel water separator. But yeah, the boat's going good. Hopefully I'll have it done here in the next day or two. Um, just a little life update that's going on with me. Without spoiling the beans, uh, I know I've been telling you guys like soon I'll update you. I, I've been kind of working on some stuff in the background and uh, I have been. I just don't want to jinx myself. It's about, 25 to 30 percent forward I guess you could say um, it will benefit the fishing community here in San Antonio South Texas I won't even say South Texas I'm gonna say nationwide I guess I guess I'm thinking small I need to think bigger but anyways yeah that's what's been going on uh, just hang tight support your boy yeah I took a little break for working on a motor, cooked dinner for my family, fired up the grill. I haven't fired up that thing in since the snowstorm, which was February, March, April, two months. I then still got some ribs on there, just cooked some chicken and ribs, and uh, everything came out good. The only thing that's left is the ribs. They should be done here in a second. But uh, yeah, just want to update you guys on what's going on. I know I'm all over the place, but like I said, life's good right now, and uh, yeah, I can't be, uh, I can't complain, man. Life's, life's good. Like always, appreciate each and every one of you guys, and uh, thanks for rocking with me, you know? Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm out.